Rapids Pride Festival. 24 Hour News 8's Barton Dieters is live there with more on the festivities and what's being done to make sure the event there stays safe this year. Barton. Well, Leon, we are here on uh, Monroe Avenue here at where the, the Pride Festival is taking place. There's a huge crowd out here. It's hot, but that doesn't stop people from turning out. I'm here with Christopher Michael. He's a board member for Grand Rapids Pride Center. Can you tell me how are things going tonight? Things are going great. They're going much better than we expected. I think the heat, uh, the heat has kept people in the shades most of the day, but it hasn't stopped them from coming out. The lines keep trickling in. Ticket sales are going well. I think the community show of support for coming out to Pride has been has been amazing, better than we could have expected. It's great. Yeah. Is this a, how does this compare to other years in terms of turnout so far? I mean, is it? A... I would say that I think that this is one of our busiest Prides, one of our largest Prides we've ever had in Grand Rapids. Yeah. Do you think that's in any way a response to the terrible tragedy this week? Do you think people are making a point of coming out now and being together and being? supportive. Yeah, I would say that. I'd say in some ways that's really true. I, I think like in the wake of something like that horrific, I think the best way to show your support for who you are is to be who you are and to be that person in the community that you live. So there's been a lot of people that I've that I've spoken with who've ha had some concerns about security, but we've we've ramped up security this year. People have said that they feel safe, that that they feel like the searches at the gate have been done respectfully and they they felt the presence, they felt the ramped up presence of security and like I, they're laughing, running around, having a great time, like drinking, eating, being who they are. I see some really great characters and it's, it's, it's been great. I think a lot of people are just showing their support and that's all we can ask for. And this goes until midnight tonight, right? It goes until midnight, that is correct. So we yeah. have... And there's a concert as well tonight? Yeah, so at 7 o'clock we're going to do our tribute to, uh, to the victims of Orlando. And shortly after that we will follow with our headline entertainers. We have Steve Grand and we also have Deborah Cox coming on later in the evening. Great. Well, thanks so much for talking to yeah, us. Yeah, my yes. pleasure. Thanks, Mark. As you can see here, Leon, there, there is a lineup. Uh, people are getting their bags checked. That's new this year. It's uh, uh, done in direct response to what happened in Orlando, according to police that I've talked to. But people are here, and they're having fun, and uh, this should go right up until midnight. So anyone who wants to should come on out and have a good time. Here near Calder Plaza, Barton Dieters, 24-hour News 8.